Hello and welcome back to, to Crash Team Racing Part 7. I've had a couple of technical recording problems, so the video may be jumpy occasionally, but it's my end of it that's jumpy, not yours. Crash Team Racing Part 7, the first, the first bit is the CTR token for Coco Park. I found the T, and I just got to find the rest of the letters. The R is on a hill. You need a lot of speed to get to that R. And the C is somewhere near the wall. There it is. Got the CTR token, just got to get that first place. Which uh, the opponents are doing surprisingly well on. I'm in third place currently. Oh, <laughs> I accidentally whacked Cortex. Oh, here in style. But it's not guided one. Oh, nailed. Didn't go dial for that nitro. <laughs> Alright, final lap. And I'm still battling for first place, surprisingly. Coco wants to be number one because it's her home track. But I'm going to have to keep my wits about me and slow her down a bit. Just a tad so I can win. Whoa! That cannonball almost nailed me. <laughs> oh no. Coco's up ahead. Got to use maximum speed. Whoa! Another cannonball almost got me. <laughs> that is crazy. These, these opponents go really aggressive against when you're playing CTR token challenges. And they're even more aggressive when you go for the cup challenges. Alright. Now we're heading up here. And going to do the relic stage first for Puffy's Pyramid. It is, it is, Puffy's Pyramid Relic Stage is a pretty hard one and if you don't get it right then you'll end up with a gold or a couple of seconds off platinum time. There's that jump that I was talking about because I've had a couple of technical problems. Okay, froze two, froze two seconds of time, three I reckon, I reckon I can get about 50 seconds, but it depends on what my luck is and how and if these plants get me or not. I think I got all four of those three crates in one go. It's just the luck of the draw if you get the right uh, jump. If you get the wrong jump, then you usually miss one or two of those times three crates. Alright, get that box on the side. Watch out for the plants. Oh yeah. Take that times three crate and go on the grass. Do a bit of jumping. And get a couple more crates. To freeze your time. 13 seconds. Awesome. And I'm on lap two now. Sometimes if I get the skin really, really well, then I can get around those tight beams very, very swiftly. Alright, gonna get that times three crate in the grass. And get the other two crates that I sort of uh, didn't quite get before. It may cost me a second or two, but it's worth it. Now be cautious here, and take these two boxes. Then the final lap, use the shortcuts. Using the shortcuts on the final lap will improve your time and a pretty good victory as well, if you're lucky. As Papu's Pyramid leaves no room for error between gold and platinum, it makes it even more of a challenge. Alright, uh, 40... Seven seconds so far. Forty-nine. All right, going for the shortcut. 
Alright, take that times free crate and take the rest of the shortcuts. That should freeze your time up enough so you can get to that next crate on this corner. Slow down, click that one. Then grab that top last times one crate. Oh man, so close to the platinum. It's the gold guys, it's the gold. But a very, very close gold. 48 seconds and gold is 1 minute and 9. That is awesome. <laughs> that was totally awesome. Didn't expect that one. I was expecting to be 50 seconds, but under 50 seconds is pretty good as well. Whoops, wrong button there. <laughs> Right, next up is the Papu Papu Pyramid CTR Challenge. Great. After the run for the braving. Yes, I did earn a relic. It was a really, really tricky relic as well. God. <laughs> Alright, CTR Challenge now. This one is pretty hard as well. Unfortunately. But with the right luck, we may be able to snag, snag a victory. The T is up in the air. You need the shortcut to grab that T. The rest of the letters I'm not sure yet. I'll explain when we get to them. There is another letter on the sh on a shortcut as well. On that bridge there is a C. On that statue there is a C. Sorry about that. <laughs> Alright, the R is on that tight bend where that times three crate was last time. But I'll be able to get that later. Just need to build up a lead first. Oh yeah, going strong. Seems like uh, they want to kill me. <laughs> Sounds a bit uh, sad, but it looks like they want to kill me, so I've got to keep ahead. I reckon I, I, reckon I can get that shortcut last because I don't have enough speed to do it. Wait, I already got that leader. Apologies there. <laughs> Gee, Coco is catching up to me. Okay, that's worrying me now. Alright, focus and stay ahead. <laughs> that's what I need to do. Final lap now. Oh yeah. That's what you get for catching up to me, Coco. A nitro. Going pretty well. Just got to keep my fingers crossed that uh, no one else passes me. Oh, top speed. Oh, blew it though. Across the turbo. Whoa, I am almost overlapping polar, folks. I'm like inches away from polar. Oh, almost overlapped him as well. <laughs> wow. Pretty good lap times. All under a minute. Alright, the next up in the list of events is I think the purple token challenge called Rampage Ruins. Rampage Ruins is pretty tricky but uh, it's pretty fun as well. There will be two purple gem challenges in this part. Again, another unfortunate uh, editing glitch because of the technical problems. Alright, I got 1 minute and 20 seconds to collect 20 crystals. Dodge, dodge the night, dodge the TNTs. There's a crystal behind there, behind there. There's a couple of crystals on the flat surface. I'll pick them all now on the flat surface. They'll come back up and jump to pick the rest of them. Oh, without slamming into any walls. Right, 
right, I'll jump and grab this one. Grab this one as well. Okay, you need to find six more in 30 seconds. Technically, four more in 30 seconds. <laughs> Okay, there's some down the cubby hole. Oh, I uh, think the last two are down here somewhere. No, only one there. Oh, there it is, right there, right in front of my face. <laughs> right, got the CTR token for Rampage Ruins. And I had eight seconds to spare as well. Right, the final event in this little section is Tiger Temple the Relic Race. After Tiger Temple the Relic Race will be Cortex Castle. This Relic Race is pretty fun. If you get your jumps wrong it can be quite bad. So hopefully my controller is up to scratch today. And I can jump all the all the all the boxes and nail them. Oh yeah, I feel like I'm in the groove today. I think I can get that one platinum. Take it, take the shortcuts later on in the level. Click click all the combo boxes. That will free the maximum time. That's my hint on that one. Save the shortcut for even second or third lap, depending on the situation. Alright, seven seconds, <laughs> and I'm on lap two. That is awesome. Save that time three crate for a little later on. Since my time's freezing away quite nicely, I'll take out some of the smaller crates. Okay, now I've got ten seconds on the clock. And I'm halfway through that too. <laughs> Sweet. Just do a couple of slides down here. Get those boxes under there. Oh yeah, that's great. 14 seconds and almost on lap 3. <laughs> this is definitely a platinum contention here. 14.5 seconds. Oh, yeah, awesome, 20 seconds, and I'm still going strong, and I can take the shortcut as well, so I've got a 99% chance I'm going to get a platinum here, if I don't get toasted by any plane throwers. 35 seconds, not bad. Alright, grabbing these two crates from the shortcut, and then, whoa, what a jump! Now I'm really, now I'm really confident that I'm gonna get that platinum. Come on, enough speed. Yeah, awesome. Nailed the plat, nailed the platinum by five seconds. Whoa, that is awesome. That is the highest result I've ever had on this track so far, at, for all time. The best time on this track from uh, my previous practice runs are about 40 seconds. So doing this on the playthrough at 38 seconds, very very good, very very happy as well. Alright, now I'm going to teleport you over to the other side. Right, we're on the other side now. <laughs> yeah, it sounds a bit weird, but yeah, we're on the other side. And we're going for the CTR challenge. Unfortunately, I had even more technical problems, and now the CTR token thing doesn't show up on the on the list. But I do need to do the race to prove that I did complete the CTR challenge. So here we go. Wish me luck. Ooh, tiny with an aggressive start. Cortex with an even more aggressive start. 
done it. I missed the uh. Before the extra pass, all CTR challenges. Pretty tricky if you make a couple of mistakes like that. If it's actually like that. <laughs> Alright, got to the sea. And fell in a hole. <laughs> now I've just got to find the other letters. And hopefully I can get into a contention of winning. Fifth place now. And blasting through. I may try the shortcut later if I'm confident enough or if I run behind. But this is too risky for now. Oh, got the tea, but I slammed into the wall. <laughs> Not doing well. <laughs> Sixth place and beginning lap two. That's not a good sign. Got all the letters though, just got to get that first place. Without making any more mistakes. I doubt that would be possible though, because Pizzic Castle was prone for... Oh, failure. <laughs> yes, failure. Got nailed by a missile there. Piney is back in the lead. And he did strong before, so he is my biggest threat so far. Can I pass him? Oh my god, slow down tiny, I want to pass you. <laughs> oh, even a spider can't even stop him. He's that quick. Just squeezed into first place, one lap to go. Yikes. Tony was going to squish me to puny carts. To a puny cart, sorry. <laughs> Alright, Tiny is in third place. Now Polar is intentionally beating me as well. And Tiny wants to crush me. Ah, oh, lovely day this is today. <laughs> Tiny wanting to crush me. Me slamming into a wall, me falling into a hole. <laughs> what else can go wrong? Okay, I don't want to say that. Because whenever I say that, something always goes terribly wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sometimes if you get it too confident, overconfident, yeah. Bail. And unfortunately I ended up failing and only got third place. I'm going to retry this challenge again. Hopefully I get it this time. <laughs> I can't believe how badly I did. <laughs> Alright, attempt number two at the CTR challenge. First place was Polar. I mean first place was Tiny and second place was Polar. My two biggest threats that I thought were going to beat me ended up beating me. Okay, somehow I've got to slow Tiny and Polar down, so I have a better shot of winning. That's a better grab of the sea. Didn't fall in a hole this time. Tiny and Polar are still beating me. Ugh. So frustrating. <laughs> but uh, still funny as well. <laughs> Ooh, engine and dingo dial. That's different. I didn't expect them to be uh, flying ahead. I'm going to try and keep ahead and stop these guys. Oh my god, they're going so aggressively. Polar and Tiny are still scaring me to death. Whoa! <laughs> that, that is crazy. CTR challenges are always crazy, but this one ices the cake. What? Now, now engines in the lead. And now Cortex is fourth place. This is going to be one heck of a race. Believe me. <laughs> I'm doing lots better than I did the last race. Hot engine now. 
whole it is gaining on me, unfortunately. And trying to get me off a cannon ball. Yes, I can. <laughs> oh, I hit a bottle. With a rain cloud on my head. That's going to turn their things quite badly. Oh, Pulver is back in the lead. And Engine and Dingo Dial are back on my tail as well. That is pretty shocking. <laughs> I'm just having a shocking turn of events this uh, last five minutes. But hopefully my luck is going to change again. <laughs> How can I go from getting a platinum relic to my skin beaten twice on a CTR challenge? No idea. <laughs> Alright, got to focus now. One for my road. The one in my road. Taking them out. I had to use force. Unfortunately. And yes! Aggressively went across the line to the first place and the token. Now we're gonna head into Nitro Court. I'm gonna preload into the Nitro Court. Start the Nitro Court Challenge. Nitro Court has lots of nitros in it, and there's a lot of time to do it in there, so I'm not too worried. Sometimes hitting the nitros gives you an advantage. Oh no, I hadn't done nitro. <laughs> no worries, I can still do this. Just gonna go fast and agile. Take out these nitros. Oh! And that other nitro not blow up. <laughs> okay. Still having a little bit of unlucky events, but. Ah, like that. But it should be okay because I've got tons of time to do this challenge. Alright, get this TNT off my head. Alright, I've got all the crystals from the large area, just gonna go for the smaller areas. Maneuver around the nitro. Grab these two crystals here. Oh, I haven't done the nitro again. No surprise. <laughs> oh, TNT planted there. Interesting. This is the last crystal of that part. Now I'll just go into this little section here. Oh! Yikes! Bad move. I pressed the wrong button. Got that one. And that's the final crystal there. 13.57. Not my best victory, but it was a victory. And I got the purple token for Nitro Court. Thank you for watching this. Part 7